Character under construction is the theme of Evangel's Sunday morning messages um, for the month of March. And I just want to talk a little bit about character today. Character is all about choices. It's about overcoming our weaknesses. It's about respecting and valuing others more than ourselves. And um, maybe you've heard of the Old Testament guy, Samson. The guy, you know, with the superhuman strength. You can read all about him in Judges chapter 13 to 16. You know, the guy who killed a thousand people, men, soldiers with a bone. The guy who picked up a whole set of city gates and carried them on his shoulders to the top of a mountain. Yeah, that guy. Physically, Samson was a strong man. But morally, character-wise, Samson was a weakling. An angel had come to his mom and, and told her that she was going to have this little baby boy and that he was going to be dedicated to God, that he had a destiny for his life and it was to rescue his people Israel from their enemies, the Philistines. He was meant to be a, a hero. He was meant to be like a deliverer, a rescuer. But sadly, Samson lacked something really important. He lacked character. During his life, Samson never tried to fight his character flaws. He just chose to give in to them. He fed them, in fact. And for good or bad, character is a choice that we make. Samson had a great start in life. He had good parents, godly home. And as he grew up, it became evident as he grew older that he had incredible physical strength from God. That strength that could be used to accomplish great things and help many people. We could really use it for God's purposes. But Samson was a very self-centered man. His life was not ruled by what God wanted. He didn't care what was good for others or how his actions affected people around him. His life's motto was, I want what I want when I want it. And he used his superhuman strength to get it. Now, one of his character flaws was this obsession he had with Philistine women, pagan women who would lead him away from God, women who were, did wrong, bad stuff. And he insisted on marrying one against his parents' strong protests and advice against it. Well, it ended badly. And so Samson then indulged another one of his character flaws, which was a love for revenge. And he went out and took revenge. Then he got involved with another Philistine gal. Her name is Delilah. Yeah, maybe you've heard about that fiasco as each of them tried to outmaneuver and manipulate the other one. And, and Samson just seemed to treat it all like a game, figuring that his great strength would get him out of whatever trouble he might possibly get into. And never thinking that it would cost him his life. Yeah, Samson, Samson this physical strong man and moral weakness left a trail of destruction and pain behind him wherever he went. Ultimately, because of his lack of character, he lost his vision. He lost his freedom. He lost his self-respect. And in the end, it took his life. And worst of all, I think, Samson lost his chance to fulfill his destiny, the reason he, God brought him into the world, his chance to be used by God for God's purposes. Folks, character matters. And fooling around with our weaknesses, playing with them is dangerous. Indulging our flaws instead of recognizing them and, and resisting them with God's help. It will cost us. It could ruin our lives. So, you know, beware. Beware of those selfish wants and urges and indulging them. Beware of the attitude, you know, I just want what I want. 
Beware of uncontrolled anger and beware of that revengeful attitude that can take hold in your life. Beware of manipulating people and treating it like a game. I think it's so important to recognize character matters. And so identify and acknowledge with God's help deal with your weaknesses, your character flaws before they destroy you and destroy your testimony, and destroy your influence, and ultimately can even destroy your walk with God. Think about it. God bless you.